I'm Biochar Bob. I travel around the world to meet and tell the stories of people who use biochar. They're using the stove right now, so let's check it out. To help their gardens and crops grow. So I just picked up one of these cacao plants and you can improve see soils, clean their drinking water, and help the world fight the effects of global warming. Follow me as I crisscross Costa Rica in a terribly suited rental vehicle. Insurance! <laughs> Accidentally eat worms. Just, yep. <laughs> and meet local farmers, researchers, artisans, and agriculturists, and even some animals. You like biochar? Who use biochar in their everyday lives. So we're in Torrealba, Costa Rica at the Calle Institute, uh, which is where a bunch of uh, Central American and South American countries come together to push forward agriculture and agroforestry. And uh, we're here with uh, Lorena and Jorge to learn about uh, how biochar is affecting banana plantations and disease resistance, as well as how uh, the stoves are affecting the everyday lives of, uh, of the people who live in Costa Rica. Jorge's research focuses on how biochar can help banana plants grow strong and be more resistant to diseases like fusarium. He compared how different biochars from different original materials combined with microorganisms compared to the traditional chemical fertilizer application. Let's go look at the bananas. <laughs> Jorge intentionally inoculated banana plants with fusarium in an outdoor greenhouse laboratory and is studying how different soil treatments affect the plant's resistance to the fungus. Eh, todos los tratamientos considerando el peor que empieza por este lado y el mejor que culmina al, al finalizar el invernadero, sí. Entonces, aquí lo que podemos concluir es que después del testigo, todos los tratamientos con biocarbón favorecieron la altura. Fue muy bueno. El, el, la variable que, que ustedes están viendo acá en el orden de las plantas es el área foliar de la hoja más joven. Después del testigo, el fertilizante químico prácticamente fue igual, prácticamente fue igual. Todos los tratamientos con biocarbón tienen un área foliar muy grande. This is the best treatment, it's sugar cane yeah. mixed with the same indigenous microorganisms and all plants are alive and have very cool thickness, very cool, very good uh, color. Vigorosity and all of these plants have the fusarium disease and you can see the plants are beautiful. So what we saw was that as soon as we add biochar the plants start growing better whether it's number of leaves whether it's thickness of the stem whether it's the area of the leaves um, what was different was the different microorganisms that you added and the different types of biochar but as soon as, you, as soon as biochar touched the soil, we saw positive results. Biochar just beat it all. The people who are using chemical fertilizer mm -hmm. are losing uh, money, are very similar to testigo. So in, uh, in bad soil, like, mm -hmm. uh, the people uh, need the biochar because están produciéndolo en su finca. It's free, it's gratis. So, eh, the, los resultados, the results are very good. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you very much for showing this to me. I appreciate it. Lorena offered to show us around the Cartier property. Oh, how do I eat it? And we tried about a hundred different fruits. Oh, it's blue. Oh my gosh. Did I just, yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. I just ate some worms. Tastes are good. It just freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> Lorena has been working with the Estufa Finca project to determine how native Costa Ricans are using their biochar producing cook stoves. The Estufa Finca conserves fuel and produces less harmful smoke. Why weren't more people using it all the time? Lorena looked into it. Very interesting. You have to see the observing something that's uh, a barrier that, that people have to cross to adopt this. Are you seeing any kind of trend at all? A culture aspect about the smoke. Well, when the people see a smoke into the house, the people think, oh, the house, they are something. They are somebody in the house. Oh. So that's the life of that. 
um, the house it's living right. because there are people living there. Mm -hmm. Some people think that that might make them sad. Mm. Interesting. To them, that was the vibrance, the life mm -hmm. of their house. Lorena also found that the smoke from more traditional stoves serves a functional purpose. In thatch roof houses, having smoke in the house will deter bugs from eating the roof, which causes it to deteriorate more quickly. Because when you're in a lab, right, you say this soil, mm -hmm. this rain, this plant, and then you go, okay, here you go, people. <laughs> and they're like, oh, but the smoke makes my thatches and this and this, and mm -hmm. it just gets so complicated. Mm -hmm. But if you can make that work, it creates a beautiful system. Yeah. Who, who uses the stoves the most? The families from three or five persons. Mm -hmm. The people who live far away. <laughs> Ellos no están olvidados, pero están, ¿cómo se dice? They're far from town, so they can't get the fuel very easily. An important and often overlooked part of scientific research is sharing the results with those who are most affected by them, like farmers. Lorena and Jorge did just that. We traveled to Don Gonzalo's educational farm property to share the biochar findings with the local community of farmers who were eager to hear about it. Out in, in an area like this where nutrients are a problem, water is a problem, one harvest is the difference between, you know, survival or not. For them to change what they've been doing for years and years and years and years, that's a lot of inertia to overcome. So when you have someone with the credibility of a scientist drive hours and hours just to share a message with you, and it's gonna get you closer to the tipping point when we can get that adoption that we've been we've been striving for. Entonces, ¿qué pasa con nuestros bananos en nuestras fincas orgánicas? Finding ways to battle disease in agriculture without the use of harmful chemicals is a challenge, but also an opportunity to understand how humans can produce food and live more sustainably. Jorge's research on biochar's ability to naturally strengthen plant growth and disease resistance is convincing. The technology exists and can be as simple and accessible as a cook stove. The Estufa Finca project and their biochar producing cook stoves offer farmers and families alike backyard solutions to effectively battle disease and fertility challenges.